welcome to Coimbra. It's another lovely day on our Sacris vacation tour. It, like today is going to be so action packed because we have three amazing places in store for you. One of them is Coimbra where we are right now. It's going to be a quick stop and then we're going to a little town in the middle of nowhere called Piolao and then we're ending up in Serra da Estrela. Oh. The Finally. highest area of, main, of continental Portugal. Yeah. But we're gonna start here in Coimbra, and Coimbra is actually a very, very historical, important uh, city of Portugal. And today it actually has the oldest university in Europe, I think. Um, in the world. In the world, in the world really? Well, yeah. Wow. Morning, guys. How you are you? Your, did you have your coffee this morning? Yes, finally, finally. So, Coimbra is not uh, just a market and it's not just a university, the oldest university in the world, founded by our King Dinesh on the 13th century. But we have here a fantastic monastery that is Santa Cruz Monastery that um, has some curiosities. Uh, first of all, is where our first king, Afonso Henrique, and uh, his son, Sancho the First, they are um, inside the, the tombs here. But um, also because in the 12th century, a guy named Fernando Martins de Bullão uh, received his first religious lessons here on this monastery. That uh, Francisco Martins de Bullão was born in Lisbon and later, on the 13th century, became our Saint Antonio. And that's what we celebrate every month in June? Yes. So even though Coimbra is one of the oldest towns in Portugal, it is actually a very young town in the sense that you have all the students from this giant university that is here. So during the evening, afternoon and evening, the city comes alive because all the students, they are done with school and they go out, they drink beers and get together and have fun. Coimbra is, is a town where you uh, don't have a lot of money um, and that's mainly because a third of the population is students. So um, you see a lot of rundown buildings that could be immaculately beautiful. Uh, so, I see this as a place where you have a lot of potential and down the road this could become a miniature Lisbon. So, this was the, the door, uh, the Berbacan. It was uh, uh, the main entrance to the walls inside the Moorish city that was uh, uh, Coimbra when, uh, when the Portuguese conquered. So, we have here the main door and we have the Arch of Almadina. It was the, the main entrance to the, the city of Coimbra. So this was like the wall of, of the old, old Coimbra? Yeah. See, my ancestors, they were everywhere, I'm just telling you. <laughs> so obviously that was just a little ticklish scratch on uh, the surface of Coimbra. There's a ton more to uh, explore and we didn't even go up to the beautiful narrow streets near the school, uh, the university. Um, but we will save it for another time when we have time to go in depth. Now we are on our way to Piodao, or as we normally say, Piodao. And I, I'm so excited for this place now. How long is the drive from Coimbra to Piodao? Uh, around one hour and a half. Okay, and it's windy little roads? Yes.
A dream just came true, Amalia. I don't know about you, but for me at least, because we are finally in Piudao. Piudao. This is a little town with 78 people living here, and you get lost in the streets here. I mean, it is... I think this might be the prettiest aldea we have ever been to in For Portugal. Sure. Yeah. And driving here through the uh, mountains of Serra Estrela was also a first for us because it's only at Madeira we've really seen mountains here in Portugal, but this is the first time at the continental Portugal that we finally get to see it. I'm, I'm hooked on this area. So since we are up in the north and we are in the land of the goats in Serra de Estrela, we are having Xanfana, which is a slow-cooked old goat. How old is it? Who, the goat? Yeah. <laughs> is there like a limit for like nah. goats before they qualify for Xanfana? Why did you call it an old goat? Because the, 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 meat, the, meat, the meat of the old goat is very uh, thick. So the only way to cook it when they are old is slow cooking I during see. a lot of time, like in a, in a uh, red wine with a lot of spices. In order to make it tender. You guys are probably wondering, what's up with the blue doors? Why are they blue? Back in the day, when they were uh, painting the doors, there, there was only one uh, guy in town who sold paint. And the only paint he had was blue. So they were just forced to have blue paint. And uh, oddly enough, the blue paint has probably become what has made Piu Dao uh, the uh, attraction it is today. I don't think I've ever seen uh, a little town like this that is so unique. Hola! Accept as multibanco? No. What did you say? <laughs> this is probably not the most interesting village from a historical perspective, but it is a very, very charming vi uh, village that you come to just to enjoy the beauty of it and the tranquility of it. I feel like I'm in Vietnam, you know, when you look back, Amelia, this reminds the rice me... rice paddy fields? It's supper. It's supper in Vietnam. Are we uh, moving on to our final destination? Yes, Casas da Lapa. Nice place. Maria? All I want to do right now is to walk on that bridge. In the theater, Don't go, don't go. There's a reason. Yo, let's go to the theater right now. There's a reason you don't want to go there. Why not? I would like to look at what there is a problem here before you begin to go. I know that you are sick. You are very sick. You are a sick man. But try to look at here. I want to pass it, Amalie. Look here. It could be that you are sick. Okay, fine. You are sick and dead. I feel like we are in a completely different part of the world. This is unlike anything we have seen Ever. Uh, in Portugal. I am in love with it. And I know that I'm saying the same thing over and over but every new place we go. But, but there's a reason we moved here. Yes. Because this is a feeling we get everywhere. Yeah. But Amelia, you should go out so I can take a photo of you. No, I don't.
look at this. We are driving around here and I feel like I'm part of a, an episode of Top Gear. And also, I feel like I'm in uh, the Amazon jungle and they decided to build roads. Cheers, Amelia, and okay. cheers, you guys out there. And also, welcome to Kashev de Lapan. So this place that we are is actually on the edge of Serra de Estrella Nature Park. And the view you get here is insane. It's like... You're basically sitting in two times Empire State Building. We only have one night here at this hotel. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, because it's a beautiful hotel. Mm -hmm. It's right up our alley and particularly Amelie because it's very Scandinavian and minimalistic. And they have three pools here. And only and 15, 15 rooms. rooms. So, so <laughs> privacy is of the es essence. But should we show them the room super quickly? Super quickly. Bathtub music. This is next to the pool. Epic, epic. It deserves a medal. It's insane. Uh, food oh. coma, by the way. Apparently, this hotel has a fancy restaurant. It's a fine dining restaurant. Yeah. But guys, before we end this vlog, we do want to thank Sacrification for working with us because this is another one of our Sacrification videos. Sacrification, they make customized tour. So whatever you fancy they will make it happen here in portugal and if you are using our name stay classy vlog and tell them that you come from us you will get 10 percent of your entire journey with sacros vacation and we really care about this uh, company a lot so we hope that you will look into it but we're gonna wrap it up there and um yeah welcome to serra de estrella our new favorite place, <laughs> Portugal. Yeah, I say that every day. Maybe you just I don't care. Portugal. I don't care. It's spectacular. And tomorrow we're gonna go in depth with Sir Estrella. It's gonna be beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Amelia, do your thing. Obrigada por ver o vídeo. Até logo. Até logo, guys. Oh, for Satan, man. For sake. No, here. Until.